Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of me reading a tale of this book and his name is 5 Minute Birthday Bear Stories. So let's get started with our video. Uh, oops, it's sideways. There, I'm sorry. Oops, that wasn't what I meant to do. There we go. So today, I'm going to read this book, this tale, and his name is The Berenstain Bears, All Aboard, and it's on page 144. The Berenstain Bears, all aboard. On a bright sunny morning, the bear family was going on a long trip. They had planned this trip for four weeks, and it was finally here. They were going to visit their aunt, Tilly, who lived who live many miles away. To get there, they needed to catch a train. Brother and sister looked down the track. Here came the train. Woo-hoo, went the whistle. The train came into the station. It was pulled by a big shiny engine. Clouds of smoke puffed out of the smokestack. It made a lot of noise. Brother, sister, and honey bear covered their ears. Oh, look. Here, in this picture, Papa is carrying honey, and honey is, is covering Papa's ears. The train pulled into the station and came to a squeaky stop. Brother, sister, and the whole bear family looked up at the engine car. Someone waved from the front seat of the train. It was Grizzly Jones, the engineer. He would be driving the train today. Another bear stood near the passenger car in a bright blue uniform. His name was Mr. Mack, and he was the train's conductor. He made sure the train left on time. All aboard, he called. The bear family steps, stepped inside. They didn't want to be late. Inside the passenger car, the family quickly found their seats. Mr. Mack came along and took their tickets. He asked if they were comf comfortable. If you need anything, said Mr. Mack, just let me know. Thank you, said brother and sister. With that, the train suddenly jerked forward. Honey Bear thought that was funny. The Bear family was off on their first train trip. Guys, I wonder if that it's going to spend, it's going to take um, a day, I think. But, um... But 
So I wonder where they sleep, where they'll sleep if it takes for a day. And guys, imagine if you were in a train and imagine how fun it will be going in a train. And also if it took over a day, then imagine where would you sleep? Ooh, that would be cool. I like to do that. I'd like to spend overnight in the train. Once I went on a train. At first, the train started out low, slow. And then it moved faster and faster. The bear family watched out the windows at the passing site. They passed their tree house, and they passed Ben's farm, and they passed Ben's farm. Farmer Ben waved from his tractor. They passed the Bear Country School, where Handy Bear Gus was fixing the roof. They went all the way through Grizzlyville. They saw cars and street lights. They saw stores and traffic cops. Then the train crossed a large bridge. They saw bears in boats, fishing, and bears working on the railroad. Then the train passed through a tunnel. It climbed into the mountains past bears skiing and climbing. The train went down into the valley. The bear family saw mountain goats and deer. Valley. After a while, the cubs grew tired of looking out the window. Mr. Mac stopped by to check on them. He asked if they wanted to visit the engine. Grizzly Jones was driving the train. His helper threw coal on the fire to make the train go. The cubs watched as the fire grew brighter and brighter with each shovel of coal. Brother wanted to throw coal on the fire too. Grizzly Jones smiled. Maybe when you're a little older, he said with a laugh. But, added Grizzly Jones, I have something you both can do for me. Yay, shouted the bears with excitement. Grizzly Jones pointed to a cable hanging above them. Want to blow the whistle? He asked. Brother quickly gave the cable a strong tug. Woo-hoo! went the whistle. Now, would you like to drive the train? asked Grizzly Jones. Would they ever? The cubs took turns in the driver's seat. They couldn't believe they were actually driving a train. Their friends would never believe this story. Just then, a freight train passed them on another track. At the end, at the end of the freight train was a red caboose. It was like a little house on wheels. The train conductor lived there. He waved that they went past. I think that's how you pronounce this word. A little while later, the cubs headed back to their seats. They were getting hungry. Mama had a lunch basket. The bears ate 
as the train rolled on. Brother and sister told Mama and Papa all about driving the train. You did a great job, said Mama. Yes, added Papa. The ride was very smooth. Soon, the bear family heard a loud squeak, and the train started to slow down. They pulled into a station. The train stopped and gave off a big pool of steam. Whoosh! Goodbye, Mr. Mac and Grizzly Jones, said the cubs. Thanks for the ride. Thank you for the ride, said Grizzly Jones with a smile and a wink. The bear family all let out a laugh. Nearby, Aunt Tilly was waiting in her car. I want to be an engineer when I grow up, sister told her. What about you, brother? Asked, Till, asked Aunt Tilly. I want to live in the red caboose. In the red caboose, he said. So do I, said Aunt Tilly. The end. Uh, okay, so I don't want you to look at those black funny things. So thank you for watching. If you like my video, click on the like video. Okay, uh, sorry. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like my video, click on the like button. Give me a like button.